Happy Valentine's, everybody. Welcome to your special message this Valentine. Um, for those of you who are new to pick a card, just uh, look at the three little cupids, see which one speaks to you the most, and you'll find the time steps in the description box below, as well as in the pinned comments. And um, what we will do is we will just see what your special message is this Valentine's Day. So it's either Cupid 1, 2 or 3 and just follow according to the time steps. So let's get started with the first reading. Hello everybody who chose the little Cupid number 1. We're going to start off with the tarot to see what your special message is and then we're going to have a closer look oracle cards to see what your very special message is this Valentine's Day. Okay, let's have a look. This is group one's very special message. Okay. Right, let's have a look here. We're just going to get a little clarification on each card so we can see what is going on for you this Valentine's Day. Right, group number one, let's have a look at this. Okay, so this is your message, your very special message this Valentine's Day. Um, group number one, you have been doing a lot of wishful thinking, a lot of planning, a lot of preparing. You are feeling incredibly creative about what you want and what you don't want. You are probably doing a lot of meditation, a lot of visualization. Um, you've probably written, you probably even has gone gone as far as to write everything down. It's like this is what I want to meet, this is who I want to meet, this is what he or she must look like, this is how they must behave. You have such a clear vision of your um, Valentine and you're definitely in creation mode. You are definitely in creation mode. You are now absolutely have decided you are not going to tolerate any of this um, past kind of rough waters. You're going to sail on forward to brighter, brighter future to calmer waters where you're going to find a good, good, good partner, someone that is far more fitting to you than what you had. And you are you, your determination here looks, we've got the Ace of Swords, we've got the um, Strength card and we've got the, the Emperor. You are incredibly strong and determined to walk away from um, what has come before this. You feel 2021 is a brand new year for you in terms of love and you are not going to tolerate anything that was that came before. This this kind of like devious, lying, betrayal, sneaky behavior, you are just going to basically stamp it out completely that if you see if you meet somebody now who shows any sign of it whatsoever, any sign of it, you're going to walk away. You're not even going to give them the benefit of the doubt. You're going to, you just know exactly what you want. You have worked so hard on it, so hard on getting what you want. You are feeling, so, because of your strength and your positivity and your determination and your manifestations and your visualizations, you are turning the wheel. The wheel of fortune is completely and utterly turning. That you are in complete control of the situation. Complete control of the situation. You do every now and then have a little creeping feeling coming in saying, Oh, I really do hope it's going to work. Oh, is it happening? You know, there, there's always that little creeping feeling coming in. But the great thing is you have, you've got such determination and such strength behind this that I think you, this is going to manifest. You are going to manifest this happily ever after. It's coming. Group number one, it's absolutely coming. And it's because of you. You are turning the wheel. You are moving away from rough waters 
to a much, much calmer water, you're not tolerating anything, anything that comes before. You know, and I think what will happen is if some, if you meet somebody who shows a tendency of um, this kind of sneaky um, lying, ghosting, you know, kind of behavior, I think you will identify it immediately and stamp it out. Stamp it out. I think there is no tolerance. The great thing is 2021 for you, there is no, you have no tolerance for any kind of to put it nicely nonsense but you have no tolerance for it at all nothing um the only thing i will tell you which is which is really a, it's compared to all the other cards here is don't let if it doesn't happen quick enough that you meet this special person don't don't start worrying about it don't don't start you know oh my gosh is it all working it is it's working. The wheel is turning. I mean, you've got the star right next to the wheel. The wheel is turning. It might not happen quick enough for your liking, but I think things never happen as quick as we want it to be. Just be a little bit patient. Just be a patient. Do your work. Do your meditations. Do your visualization. Write in your journal. Look at that. Look at that, you've got the four of wands, 11 and 11. It's coming, it's coming. It's absolutely coming, group number one. I think it's absolutely amazing because there is such sheer will and sheer determination and creativity here that it's really due to you and your focus and your courage that you are turning what has come before to create this wonderful newness this wonderful, wonderful newness. So that looks very, very positive, group number one. We are now going to take the oracles and let's see what we can get from the romance angels. Just a further message about your special valentine. Sorry, that was too many cards. Your special valentine that's coming in. Your special valentine message, just to see if we can get a little bit further information. Okay, true love, which is great confirmation this romance this is the romance of a lifetime so whatever you're bringing it in this is this is a big one you're bringing in a big one let's take this one chemistry so there's going to be a lot of chemistry between the two of you and it's going to be mutual there's great it's going to be magnetic i think you it might even be i know you know a lot of people don't believe in um, love at first sight but i think when you see each other you will know you will know immediately this is the person and this is going to be a spectacular a spectacular kind of love it's like Nothing you've known before, but you are so ready and so prepared for it. And yes, look, look, group number one. This situation involves marriage. So, but this is all due to you. You've created it, you've manifested it, and now what comes is all due to you. It's going to be the most special kind of true love. I think this is the love you've been waiting for. It's completely mutual. And then you've got the wedding. So that is really, really a wonderful message. I mean, you've got a lot to look forward to in terms of love, group number one. So there you go. That is your message this Valentine's Day. Have a wonderful, wonderful Valentine's Day. Enjoy it and anticipate, anticipate and keep doing your work because it's coming. So that's all I have for you. Lots and lots of love this Valentine's Day. Welcome group number two. This is your reading. So everybody who um, chose the little Cupid number two, we are going to see what your special message is that is coming in this Valentine's Day. We're going to have a look at the tarot to see what your message is. And then we're going to take some oracle cards to get further clarification. Let's see, group two, what your special message is this Valentine's Day. Let's have a look. Just move that up a little bit so we can get another card. And then we'll just do this so we can get more detail on each card. All 
right group number two here is your special message okay so i think uh, group number two that there has been a period for you where everything was not clear and because the no nothing nothing came has come in that was um you probably went on a lot of you've been on a lot of dates and you've met a lot of people um in the past but nothing grabbed you like something was missing something was just not there there was an emptiness um nothing jumped out at you you know you went probably out and you probably dated for the sake of it but there was really nothing or nobody that lit you up nothing it was like you were like oh you're starting to get despondent um you started to feel like oh kind of really disappointed thinking you know perhaps there's something wrong with me why can't i find this special person i'm, I'm doing i'm going out there I've, I've i've dated i've been in relationships but something always felt as though it was missing there was like a like a hole like you hadn't met the one literally i know there's like a bit it's a bit of a cliche but you hadn't you hadn't met the one and i think this caused you actually quite a lot of heartache because you know we start to doubt ourselves is there something wrong with me why can't you know i can't me why can't i have that kind of connection that is you know that's going to um that i can see other people have but the good news is which is so nice because we had this actually for group number one uh, um, very very similar that there is a big turning there is the the wheel when you get the wheel of fortune it's like the wheel is turning and it's so turning in your favor it is really turning in your favor you've got the wheel of fortune which is um, clarified by the star card so it's like your wish and your dream is coming true but that there, there's actually there's no but this is actually due to you you've done a lot of work you've really gone out there and you've tried and you've kissed a lot of frogs you've been kissing a lot of frogs but there is somebody coming in there is somebody special coming in and he's coming in fast and he's coming in furious now group number two know this sorry i keep saying he but it's also she okay it's just your special person know this this person that's coming in and they're coming in they're going to charge in okay they're going to like appear out of nowhere it is divinely blessed this relationship this relationship is divinely blessed and you will know you will know from deep inside your heart and soul that this is the person so when you get that deep feeling this is the person i have been waiting for please do not second guess yourself because it is this is the person that they're coming in they're coming in and they're going to offer this security this stability this feeling of coming home that has been missing previously you are going to get what you have been longing for what you have been wishing for what you have been pining for you're going to get this is your special message this is your message and it is divinely blessed you have been patient you have gone out there you have done what you need to do you know more frogs look prince charming is coming prince charming is coming and you will know the answer is going to be quite clear deep inside you my advice is just don't second guess don't second guess because it's really everything that you want is coming in and it's coming in quickly it's coming in quickly group number two so let's take the um, romance angels to get a little bit more clarification about this relationship that is coming in for you okay let's take a few more cards let's see what we'll do we'll take this one this could be the one oopsie reconciliation and we've got two we've got 
four actually popped out for you so I'm going to take them group number two let's take them retreat and chemistry okay so here's our message there is a chance that this person this person is somebody you actually have dated in the past and classic, put him in the, the frog section. But all of a sudden, perhaps, this is, this is just a possibility. It doesn't have to be, okay? This is just a possibility that they could reappear and you see them with brand new eyes and brand new chemistry. Because there is a lot of chemistry in this relationship. So maybe um, this person didn't work out in the past for what reason maybe it could have just been timing on their side or your side it, it could have just been timing but um, they they cut they reappear and you look at them with brand new eyes they're no longer a frog they're not in the frog category now you take them out the frog category and they're in the Prince Charming category and this chemistry the attraction is really really strong on both your sides and you've got a message that this could be the one. This could definitely be the one. And you will know it. You will know it from your intuition, from your, you will get that feeling inside. Like, wow, this is different. Something, something is, something feels different. Something is not right. And it's time, the minute we get our retreat card, it's just take the time to spend time, just you and this person, getting to know each other. Disconnect from the world. What? Whatever that means to you, if that means just you know going for long walks in nature, if it means you know cooking each other meals at in, at your homes and having long chats, getting to know each other, but that's what that means. So that looks really quite nice because I mean it could be a, a surprise either way. It could be somebody from the past or it could be somebody brand new. But um, this is your special message, group number two. So I think that looks quite exciting. So I wish you the most wonderful, wonderful Valentine's Day with lots and lots of um, love. And um, please take care of yourselves. Welcome group number three. This is for everybody who chose the cute little Cupid number three. We are going to see what your special message is this Valentine's Day. We're going to start off just having a look at the tarot. And then we're going to get further clarification with the um, with oracle cards. So let's see what is coming in for group number three. Let's see, now we're just going to get another row to clarify. Well, this came, the star card has come through for everybody. Everybody. Okay, right. Group number three. Okay. So, group number three, you have been. Um, you have probably been involved in quite a um, toxic relationship. You're probably just getting out of it or are fighting to get out of it. This relationship is a lot of codependency, a lot of feeling bound, tied, can't move on, can't be yourself, can't express yourself, always having to prove yourself. It's really toxic. Okay, there was also probably a lot of um, lying, betraying, gaslighting. Uh, really, it's this, I mean, we've got them both together. It's, you've had a real run. Really, you've had a real, real run of it. And please note, I'm using the word run because what we have clarifying the, the devil, which cannot be better than any than any other card than the death card which is telling us this is either ended or coming to an end very 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 soon and it is over it is over whatever this was is over and something new you have the hand of god holding the ace of wands which is absolute 
brand new beginning, fresh, starting from scratch, but with amazing potential, with amazing, uh, with amazing enthusiasm and excitement and, and um, inspiration a lot of inspiration and look what we have right here is the full card which is new beginnings new beginnings that lead to a very serious commitment so once you get i hope for you that this is in your past but please don't worry if it's not it's about to end it's about to end and you have to know group number three that there is more than light at the end of this tunnel there is stars that shimmer and it, it is amazing and there is this is the victory card this new beginning is going to bring complete victory complete and utter victory and success and you've got the star blessing this um this new beginning and the star card blessing it's like blessings and wishes coming true and there is definitely a potential here for a um, long-term committed if not a, a wedding i mean this is like there is a really serious relationship coming in after this rough 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 ride okay um this is your time now this is your time it's like it's like you know you've done the time of always having to defend yourself you know prove yourself worthy you i think there was a lot of like proving yourself worthy and um, um there was probably you were you were put down a lot your self-esteem took a huge knock here it's the end of that it is the end of that this is your time you've it's your time to be seen and heard for the true beautiful person that you are and to be valued and appreciated and there is a lot a lot of potential a lot of potential you know we've got the ace of wands and, and then we've got the two of wands so the only there's only a small little um thing that i just wanted to mention here is just don't get into i think this is either i think i would not let this carry carry any of this forward i think if you if possible if you can release it release it completely completely because what can happen is this kind of a person um once you let them go you know once this all falls apart and you've got your your you know you, you cut them completely and they see they see how amazingly you've moved on how well look how amazing this how well things are going for you they might attempt to come back and they're not coming back nicely they're going to there's going to be arguments there's they're going to play mind games with you they're going to make you feel guilty they're going to my advice is if you if you can let it go completely there is no room for this in your new in this new look at this this beautiful new chapter in your life don't don't tolerate it if i was you just let it die let it die let it die it's death that it's meant to go it's in your past you've got here yeah, you've got the, the the world in your hands you've got opportunity on either side of you there's so much to look forward to there is so much to look forward to and um of this person is not going to be so happy about you moving on they're going to try and pull you back try and pull you back into the snare and it's up to you really to find the strength and the courage to stand up and be the true beautiful person strong person that you are and say no no i do not deserve this this is not what i deserve i deserve this i deserve this i deserve to be happy and feel good and have blessings all around me so that is your special special message group number three let's take an angel card these are the romance angels to get further messages about this valentine's day for you okay this one new love there you go clarification there is definitely new love coming in unrequited love 
So this is the unrequited love. This is what this is talking to. This person coming back and they're going to definitely do a whole guilt trip on you. They are. They probably know which buttons to press. They know how to get to you. Please be aware of it. And you know what? If the easiest thing for you is not to take their calls, not to answer their texts, you do whatever it takes that you don't fall back into this old toxic pattern. And we're going to take this one. Oh my goodness. There you go. There you go. Say no more. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. So there you have it. Free yourself of this my dear, dear group number three, you have got wonderful, wonderful. I just have to show you these cards because it's so nice. It's so, so nice. Sorry for the mess, but I have to just bring these out because it's a new beginning. It's absolutely blessed. All your, your wishes coming true and complete and utter success and happiness. Complete and utter success and happiness. So please free yourself. There is new love coming in new love coming in there you have it group number three that is your special message this valentine's day i wish you huge amounts of love and uh, please take care of yourselves again 